As we get older, we start developing this flabby arm type of condition. But guess what? You can beat that. And I want to go over some important things with you. I'm going to show you one exercise. I'll show you for a beginner, a semi-intermediate, or even advanced, as well as an additional exercise that's going to help build these tricep muscles. As these muscles start to develop, you're going to see less flabby arms, but there's a few important things we need to understand. Number one is diet. If you're eating too many excessive carbs, too many calories, that will cause excessive fat. And obviously if you have too much fat, you're gonna have flabby skin, not only in your arms, but other areas as well, visceral fat as well. So we know that aerobic exercise, walking, swimming, riding a bike is good for us, but calorie deficit is extremely important. So that's number one. Number two, when we lose weight, if we're not getting enough protein in our diet, that protein, those amino acids, is needed to develop and strengthen and rebuild those muscles. You see, when we exercise, we are breaking down muscle, but as we break it down, the body repairs it. So it needs those amino acids within those proteins to allow that muscle to get stronger. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna help strengthen those muscles. I'm gonna give you some simple tips, easy things. What I love about this, we could do it on the couch or against a wall. No weights, no money, no coaches, something very, very simple. But I want to stress to you, eating a healthy diet, cutting out refined processed foods, trans fats, too many saturated fats, eating our healthy fruits and vegetables, our legumes, our healthy proteins, if it's chicken, fish, whatever kind of meat you like, it's okay. But you need to understand that if you're eating too many excessive calories, it gets converted to fat. And the key thing is, a good diet will definitely help along with what I'm about to share with you. And I love this technique so much because it's so easy. We can do it when we watch TV. We can do it when we're chatting with our family. All you need is a couch or some type of sofa, and we can then start getting results. So let's start with the beginner. Yes, we must have resistive training, resistive exercise, resistive tension on that muscle called our triceps. You see, when these triceps get flabby, there's still muscle there. But remember that muscle is a metabolic burner. So as you strengthen muscle, as it builds, it will start to burn more within your body. Your caloric uh, burning is going to increase your thermogenesis, and you're going to lose that excess fat as well as build that muscle that we're achieving right now. So let's put our hands uh, in the right next to our thighs, sit in the middle of the couch. Here's what I want you to do. You're just gonna lean back, and if your couch, like where my depth of my couch is, lean back just to the point to where your elbows are hitting the back of the couch. Now, just like you're getting up, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna push up as you're getting up. That's it. And by this little motion, leaning back and pushing back up, I just want you to do it with me. Just lean back, keep your hands down, and push up. Okay, just like you're pushing up off a couch to get up. These little pushes are excellent for our triceps. Just a little back to your elbows can't go back anymore. My elbows are bent and push up, extend your arms, then bend your elbows again, go back to the couch and push up again. And let me tell you something, just those few, I'm feeling it right now, push up again. And you can do these a good few sets, 12, 15 repetitions, two to three sets. If you can only do one set, that's okay you'll get stronger as the days and weeks go ahead. That's for the early beginner. But here's another good early beginner one as well. This time I want you to sit up to the front of the couch, put your hands next to your body like this, and this is all I want you to do. I want you just to go a little more forward on the couch, make sure your buttocks stays on it, you're not gonna come off of it, and you're gonna go just to where you feel the muscles start to contract. Okay, you'll know what I'm talking about. Let me start again. Hands next to your uh, thighs on the couch. I'm pushing myself off the couch. My buttocks, buttocks is on, but right now they're firing. Right now they're firing. This is called isometric. Isometric exercise is there's no movement, but you have excessive contraction in these muscles right now. Okay, if I hold it like this and I'm coming off, it's squeezing. Otherwise, I fall off the couch. So 
as we squeeze it, we're going to hold that squeeze about 15, 20 seconds. I'm sweating. And now we can come back, rest a couple seconds, hold on, scoot forward, and right now they're contracting again. That isometric. Extremely good for the triceps. You're going to say, wow, I really feel that. No weights. It's simple. Come back again, lean forward, just to where you feel like you're coming off, and hold it in this position right there, 15 seconds. If you can't hold it 15, do it 10, do it five seconds. Do your best, but shoot for several repetitions, the best you can, a couple sets. If you can get 10 to 15, it's great, and that's all you'll do. Now, when you break down a muscle, we want it to heal. So if you notice that you're really using that muscle and it hurts, do the exercise every other day. So you give it that 48 hours of healing. Let's move on to the more intermediate now. Same thing. As we go forward, we're going to keep going forward until our buttocks just comes off. Now I'm off. Guess what? We either can stay in this position, isometric exercise, or we can push ourselves back up just like this. And you can use your feet a little bit if you have to. You come back down just enough to where you're feeling it really tighten up on you. And then after a few seconds, three, four seconds, push back up. And that is the full exercise. As you come back down, it's contracting. And you can challenge yourself. You can hold it longer. You can hold it 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, and do less repetitions, and then push yourself back up. So let's go to the more advanced version. Yes, you've already guessed it. We're going to go down farther. So by going down farther, we're putting it through what we call an iso isotonic, just like the other one was, because there's movement in the joint. But the more mobility we get in there, the harder it gets. So be, as you become more advanced, again, hands by your side. You're bringing your feet forward little by little as you drop down like this. And you can hold it there. But guess what? When you push up, you have a lot to push up here, pushing up. Oh. You go back down again, you can hold it a couple seconds, the muscles are firing, and push up again. Oh, there's not a better exercise. You're gonna do it again, go all the way down. You can challenge yourself, you can hold it longer, and then push up. Oh. And for the many of you who have never lifted weights, that's okay. All you need is a wall, that's simple. I wanna make sure you have shoe wear on so you don't slip. You're going to walk up against the wall, keep your elbows 90 degrees like this. What you're going to do is you're going to put your hands up on the wall like this and you're going to traction your feet further back as you're just leaning against your arms like that. That's right. Now what I want you to do is put pressure on your hands and push away. These triceps are working and then come back again and push away. Go nice and slow. And if you want more traction, you lean a little bit further backwards with your feet and you come into the wall and you go a little slower. You can see the back of my arms, they're shivering because I'm using those muscles. Let me tell you something, I am sweating. You will sweat as well. That's excellent. That's how you know you're doing this correctly. So, in summary, please devote yourself. This is called repetition, something that you're gonna make a change right now. If you want your arms to get toned and tight, as well as burning those excessive calories, eating healthy, now is the time to do it. It's the best time. So start doing these little exercises, do them at home. You will see within a week, two weeks, and one month, tremendous changes. I hope it helps you, your family, and loved ones. Please leave your comments below, and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.